I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. Here's your NBC3 forecast. And as we look ahead today, it's going to be almost as equally as warm, if not a smidge warmer than it was two days last week. Last week we had two days of 86. We'll be pretty close to that again today. We do have a chance of a pop up thunderstorm, but it's going to be more isolated than it was yesterday. And anytime there's a thunderstorm, you always got to watch out for something strong or severe. I think the chance that something goes severe today, though, is much, much lower than it was yesterday. So what do we expect? Well, yeah, the warmth and heat is building today and gets to its apex tomorrow and potentially even as hot on Saturday. Like I just mentioned today and even tomorrow, the threat for thunder, it's not zero, but it's not as high as it was, let's say, yesterday when we had numerous showers and storms. We'll show you that precipitation probability coming up in a second. Well, the threat goes higher later Saturday into Sunday. Then we have some cooling conditions. You know, it just seems like much of the last two weeks, we've either been way above normal or way below normal for high temperatures. Well, we're way above normal today. We're way above normal Friday. We're way above normal Saturday. We'll still be above normal Sunday and then go below normal Monday and Tuesday. That's just the way it's been happening recently. A little fog this morning. Chance of a quick shower east of the lake early. Then we start building the warmth and heat. And usually when you have warmth and heat, you have some at least potential energy. And we actually measure that in the weather office for you. The difference today, even though we have a small trigger, the upper level triggers aren't as potent, number one. And number two, there's a bit of a cap that's on the atmosphere that wasn't there yesterday. Now that doesn't mean we will not get anything to fire up. I just think the activity will be more sparse than it was yesterday. And because the atmospheric dynamics, in other words, stuff that helps to make those anvils and thunderstorms go crazy, they aren't as forceful as they were yesterday. This is important. This is what we watch for in the Weather Center. So anything that does pop up, the chance of it going severe, it's not zero, but the chance of it going severe is lower than it was yesterday. So just the chance of something is lower, and then the chance that something is severe in that chance that it does form is even lower. So you get the point. High temperatures today for most folks, mid and upper 80s, cooler by the lake shores. Overnight tonight, any precipitation simmer downs now, and then uh, fog forms. And then tomorrow we're going to have the sun out again. And I think Friday should exceed 90 for the first time since August 31st. That's the last time we have had 90 around here. Well, I think we'll make it in Syracuse. In fact, my forecast is it us to tie the record, which was only set a couple of years ago, 92 degrees. Well, once again, Friday has a similar atmosphere to today. So there's a chance. You, you, so you're saying there's a chance? Yes, there's a one in four chance again for a late day or evening shower thunderstorm. I think our probability gets higher Saturday afternoon. That's going to be about as warm. We'll be in the upper 80s, maybe 90 or so for Saturday. The thing is, there's going to be more moisture and a little more atmospheric oomph. So instead of just a... 25% chance, which we have today and tomorrow. The chance goes in the afternoon at least up. You well, know, 55% is certainly a lot higher than 25. And then look at Sunday. The threat is even higher, 75%. Then the cooling conditions come our way Monday and Tuesday. We'll start drying out too, I think. Here you go. 87, 92, 89, 82. That is your four day stretch of way above normal temperatures. And then 68, 66 is, well, you guessed it, below normal. Local temperatures for you. Chance of 90 in the southern tier and in New York. Nationwide numbers for you. More on CNYCentral.com.